hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Feel like I'm out here by myself, but I'm not alone Designer don't mean shit, cause I got it on With a bad bitch, think she it, but she got it wrong Love it now, she calling on my phone I was destined for this shit, like He got away with it But he ain't get away with it Yeah, yeah, shout out to everybody out there, man I really don't want much of an intro today Shout out to everybody that I rock with, you already know Alright, let's get right to it, so Three Letter Man, shout out to Three Letter Man and Disaster, GTX, everything that they got going on over there. But I want to talk today about an interview that I saw yesterday, you know what I'm saying? And I think that a lot of the people that are in the battle rap culture, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be media, whether it be artists and things like that, everybody moves on their own accord. People do what they do, you know what I'm saying? And there's certain subjects and things and subject matter that we'll hear that will make you stop and be like, nah, we gotta, nah, 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 what is this? No, ho, ho, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, skirt! So, Three Letter Man, salute to him and everything that he's got going on. PSA Reloaded, go subscribe to his channel, you know what I'm saying? He's been in this game for almost 10 years, been doing this for a whole decade, you know, from the highest level, interviews, and there was a time when Three Letter Man wasn't who he is right now, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that in a negative connotation, there was a time Go back and see him verse. No, 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 no. We matter of fact, we don't want to do that. But him verse Cassidy, him with Sirius Jones, like back in them days on AFM radio and things like that. Like he used to fly off the handle on people. Like and the, the, to see where he's gone and what he's doing now. And everyone grows. Everyone develops. Everyone, you know, tries to become who they are. And to see how how mature he's been in these years doing, getting a lot of interviews, talking to a lot of people. Like that's a lot of legwork. See, a lot of y'all don't understand with the legwork that it takes to be someone who does these interviews and battle rappers on time and not standing you up, going be, he could tell you way better than I. I don't do interviews and I'm gonna tell you why I don't do interviews in a second, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the shit that I'm gonna talk about right now is a lot of reason why I don't do interviews. I wanted to find my own lane, you know what I'm saying? But I do them on TV. See, TV, you know, they ain't gonna play on TV. You know, hey, you don't show up for TV, hey, we ain't never calling you again. Yes, sir! This nigga spitting. Damn, nigga! All of the guests that I have, I actually have a guest. We're doing a show tomorrow. Uh, the guest that I have, we call you one time. If you don't answer, you don't reply. And there's people in battle rap. Top tier artists. Like, I've hit them up. Yo, we got this day, this day. They don't text me back. Oh, God bless you. Have a good life. None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too. I'm serious too. I'm talking to him, and you niggas be sensitive, and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most of y'all. And I'm gonna just go on to the next person. Go on, cause we don't have like when they on TV shit. We don't do that. I'm not calling. No, they would. Any artist would tell you. I'm not calling you twice. If I call you once and I set up a date and a time, you're not there. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> and I don't give. Who you are from A to Z don't matter. That's the that's why I, that's that's the only place I do interviews. But on the YouTube and things like that, that's a grind, man. You gotta deal with people's egos, people's uh, you know, they think they better than this person, they don't show up, you know what I'm saying, and then they wanna get in the interview and you're there to ask them questions and then they talk crazy to you. Which I'm speaking on easy. You right. already been a guest. You you a you a rapper doing what we do. You can't that's the fucking truth. He's out there lying. Okay. So that so I'm telling you what it is. This right. is my fucking culture. Both of y'all are guests in this shit. How about I'm that? All, I'm not and a I'm an A rap. How about that? I'm not a guest. I'm not yeah. a guest. No, yes, I'm you hip -hop. are. Yes, I'm you are. Hip -hop. Yes, you are. All of you are. You know what? Disagree. If you ain't if you ain't battled, if you ain't battled, you's a guest. Nah, That's I'm period. That. And if you I'm came in, that. listen, and if you came in after I battled cannabis, which I'm speaking on easy, you all already right. been a guest. You you are you a rapper doing what we do. You came that's the fucking what kind of shit is here <laughs> so to to hear the composure and the way three was able to keep himself together in that moment while being disrespected was admirable you know what i'm saying he's being called a guest in hip-hop three letterman is from brooklyn i'm from the bronx hip-hop started in the bronx imagine being from where something started and being called a guest uncle Roz being called a guest this man's at every fucking event Every event, he is out there. Three Letterman, 
reca recaps all of these joints. 15 minutes of fame, hip hop is real. They on the ground, they do the legwork. They do the shit I'm not gonna do. I've been said years ago, I am not going to, because when you go to every single one of these events, you gotta find the artist, you gotta, you know, do you want to interview? Some are gonna turn you down, some are gonna do it. When I first started, I did a couple of interviews back in the day, back in the day. But when I seen how much legwork and all of that, I said, oh, no, I gotta become a, I gotta become my own entity. I have to become the talent because this, I don't have, I'm not doing this. I'm not, I don't wanna do it. So, Three Letterman, was interviewing Disaster, and he spoke about what Easy had going on as far as with the NDA and yada yada yada. He didn't agree with it. I didn't see a single media outlet that was pro oh uh, NDA. Oh no, nobody's rocking with that shit. Nobody ain't nobody cool with that. But at the same time, the way Diz was carrying it was like he wanted the vitriol and the hate that was spewing from him towards Easy in this situation of being three. Three's supposed to be a neutral interviewer. He's supposed to be interviewing you from a perspective of, I'm asking these questions to get your reaction. I may know how you feel. I may know, yo, so I'm gonna say, yo, what you think about the NDA? I could think that you hate it, but I have to get that from you. I can't just assume it for you. So he's asking him legit questions, and this is just spazzing on him, telling him to shut up, and all this extra disrespectful shit, it's like, bro, like, do you, let me tell no y'all, the power of media, boy ain't right? no way, boy. I know a lot of artists boy and people no try way, to say boy. the bloggers don't matter, whatever the case may be. Our opinion don't matter until it matters, you know what I'm saying? Diz, you are trying to sell a VOD. You are trying to sell a pay-per-view. If all of the bloggers just jumped up there and was like, F that pay-per-view, don't cop that, boo 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 or said F the next one, do you think it would affect sales? Because I know the answer. Every one of these media outlets have their own independent fan base. It could be 10,000, 20,000, 35,000, 100,000. When you start adding up all of those platforms, that is a lot of people. And some of the people watch multiple channels. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to like media. You don't have to. And I seen that, you know, I, I seen that you said you apologized. You was on your after bloggers thing. I get it, you know what I mean? You know, you, you're useful until you can't be used, then you become useless, you know what I'm saying? We're, when bloggers are recapping the event, pushing it, telling people, oh, you need to see this, oh, recapping battles off the joint. There's certain people that's not gonna recap a lot of these battles, but I'm up two, three, four o'clock in the morning recapping uh, A Ward versus Frank, recapping, uh, you know what I'm saying, battles off of your car. I don't have to do that, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to. I don't have to cut my camera on and talk about that shit at all, I'm gonna be honest with you. Because a lot of them cats that was on that car, nobody even cared about. Just being honest. You and Easy was a selling point. You and Big K was a selling point. Without either one of those battles, I need you to understand that a lot of the people that are guests here wouldn't have fucking copped it. You know what I mean? If we're guests in a, in a hip hop, if we're guests, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm, I understand how you feel. I've said this before. I understand how disaster feels. You know, people are saying he didn't win the battle. I was one of them. I didn't feel like he won. I just didn't feel like that. People are saying he didn't win the battle. He got hit with an NDA. He spoke about what was in the NDA. He puts the paperwork out. He, he's even doing uh, this fucking, he had just put out an artwork today. I just saw it, you know what I'm saying? It was uh, NDA Young Bowl. You know what I'm saying? And I laugh. When it's battle rap, I don't get mad when it's battle rap. When y'all are doing the battle rap thing, I ain't mad. Like when the, the way Verb is going that ward, while it may be excessive at times, you know, it is what it is. It's in battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think Verb is going to win. You know what I'm saying? He, he might not even agree with some of the shit that I say sometimes. I really don't care. But at the same time, we are media. We do not get controlled by the artist. The artist can't tell me how to feel. Really what we talking about, this is whole sh You know what I'm saying? You might not like what, 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 what the way Easy and Remy and all of them came with that paperwork. I don't know, I wasn't a part of it. But you signed this shit and you did the battle anyway. You did it. You took the battle. If you didn't want to do the NDA shit, you could have just said, fuck it, I'm not doing the battle and moved on. But you still took the battle. So there was something in there that made you say, I still wanted to do this. And when three is asking you questions about it, the man is just asking you questions. I didn't hear him disrespect you one time. The man sat there composed, and you was like, oh, I'm not feeling this interview. I don't know if I want to do it. That's the point. At that point is when you should have left. If it was something you didn't want to do, and you feel compelled to do it, you should have just left. You know what? I'm not feeling this. No disrespect, but I'm out. Click. We wouldn't be here today. People wouldn't be talking about it. It wouldn't be a thing. And when we talk about guests and cultures, Eminem and Macklemore, who are, you know, won Grammys, sold millions of records, have admitted that they're guests in genre. And oftentimes people say, you're a guest. Mm -hmm. 
How do you take that statement? I think it's true. Uh, it is true. And I agree. Hmm. You, if you look at the origin of where hip hop came from and, and what was happening in New York City and what was happening in the Bronx and the way that black people and people of color have been treated historically in America from the jump, um, this was a music that was birthed out of oppression. Hip hop is inclusive, so there's always been an open door to a certain extent. In certain moments, it was a little bit harder to push it open yeah. back in the 90s. But I'm a guest. Yeah. M's a guest. Doesn't matter how good we get. Yeah. Doesn't matter how great Eminem is. We're guests in the culture, 100%. And that's not to say that I don't belong here. I absolutely belong here. Mm. But you still have to realize that this is not your house. Mm. And that you are a guest. And take your shoes off. And help with some dishes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They said no matter how good they get, no matter how good they get, they will always be a guest. And is it, it, to, to, if to say someone is a guest doesn't mean they don't belong. Diz, you've been here from the beginning. We know you've been here. We know you've been here for years and years and years. I personally don't have no issues with disaster. You know what I'm saying? Like, I watch his battles. I recap this event. I got about four or five videos with 10,000 views talking about this. I might have eight or nine. I promoted this event better than the niggas that was on the card. Let's do it. If you want to be real, disaster. I promoted your event better than the people that were on the card. You said that you couldn't even get easy to post the, to, to promote this shit. And you, he's on the card. Who's promoting it? Bloggers. Who's telling people to watch it? Bloggers. The same people that y'all say fuck you to and we don't like y'all and woo-woo-woo. They the ones that's promoting your shit. Yeah, we get paid for it, so that's the only reason why it's happening. But at the same time, one hand wash the other, both hands wash the face. I would never jump on my camera and say F your event, F the battlers and all of that because it's not about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have to, if, if this shit is ever going to be continue to evolve, and make it to these major platforms and major spaces. You think we got to TV being guests? You think we got to TV being fuck the block? You're like, dog, we carry this shit. We, as in all the media platforms, it don't even matter if we get along, we don't get along, but I'm never gonna get on camera and disrespect any of them or say, you know, you don't, they don't belong here, blah, blah, Nah, we're not doing that, bro. We're not doing that. You might, I understand you might have called three letter man and y'all might have spoke on the phone about it and all of that, but disrespecting them in public, dog. Just saying. Then everybody saw that. And it went everywhere. And I just think you're crashing out, man. Like, you know, you might not have got the results you wanted in the, in the, in the easy battle. Some people feel like you won. Do I feel, I felt like you did your thing. I didn't feel bad about what you did. You know? You had an NDA and spoke about everything in it. <laughs> now that's some shit. You spoke about everything in it. And didn't get sued. And I don't think you will get sued. But... I do think you flew off the handle a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Because Three Letterman has been around for way too long. He puts on for hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? He be doing hip-hop breakdowns, talking about albums and shit. He do a lot of stuff that I, I'm just not going to do. I'm going to be honest with you. If I, had to, if I had to do the things that he has to do, I wouldn't do it. Because the niggas, they don't appreciate this shit. Look at what you, Three, you do all of this work for all of these people. And I'm not never telling you to stop. Always keep going, keep doing what you're doing. You have a vision, you have a goal, you are making things happen. Don't get it twisted. But this is the shit that I be talking about. You go all out your way, you interview people, not you. I'm not saying this shit I be talking about with you. This is the shit that I be talking about why I don't do interviews. Because you go all out, you bust your ass, you get people on there and they give you their ass to kiss. Like they're doing you a favor. That's how they feel. They feel like they're doing you a favor. No, 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 no. I got 45 million views and I don't have 45 interviews. And I'm never going to have 45. I have 425. <laughs> I ain't got 45, I got 425. And it's gonna stay that low, like, bro, it's not worth it for me. But for three, he does great interviews. I didn't see nothing wrong with the way he was interviewing. Nothing at all. And for him to fly off the handle saying, shut up, shut up, you're a guest here. Uncle Ra, like, Uncle Ra, he's everywhere. When you disappear, when Diz disappeared, don't battle for two, three years, he off doing movies and shit and battling people in Croatia and Kosovo. Uncle Ra is here. He's at every event. And if he's not there, he got a representative there. That nigga got a representative in every fucking state. Everywhere they at. And they... And they guessed? That shit's wild, man. <laughs> yeah, that shit's wild. And like I said, I, I mean... I, I just feel like as a media outlet, you know what I'm saying, a guest, as a guest in this shit, who gets a lot of views, I mean, I fuck, I, sorry, my bad if I'm talking about it, you know what I'm saying, my bad, but 
Nah, they ain't my bad. I'm gonna talk about this type of shit. And you know what I'm saying? A lot of people that's in the comments and they ain't gotta agree with me. I really don't care, you know what I'm saying? If I gotta take an outward stance, I'll take an outward stance. This could be my unpopular opinion. I just think it was bullshit. Event. Let me go to PSA. Go to hip go yo, when y'all got a chance, yo. Go to PSA reloaded, man. For real. Let's do let's do this shit real quick. And I don't even be doing this shit, you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't even talk about bloggers and media and all that shit on my channel anyway. But salute to everybody, I just do my own thing. You know? This man, PSA. Uh, he talked to Disaster, he talked to Frack, he recapped Big K versus Rex, he recapped Easy to Black Captain versus Diz, he did an Easy to Black Captain versus Diz recap. I'm just scrolling down the videos that he did. All of these videos that he did on your joint, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> for you to tell him he's a fucking guest? This nigga whole channel is full of your fucking recaps right now. Come on, man, I gotta tighten up, because I guarantee you this. If, if he get if, if he was to reach out to all the big media behind the scenes and be like we not fucking with that no more what you think niggas gonna do I would love to, I would love for you to know do you think you still gonna have a light on that shit because who promotes you more than anyone the media does he got like six or seven videos on his shit I got videos on my shit I'm sure a bunch of other media platforms got videos they the ones who promoted your shit we didn't get no pay-per-view for free I didn't ask for it either I wouldn't ask for it we ain't getting what you give us we didn't give us nothing what you gave us because they ain't do nothing for us there's other leagues the league that you shitting on RBE, I get every pay-per-view for free and have been for years and years. Nigga. Why? Because they know I recap their shit one hand wash the other one while other wash the face. Have I always had good words for them? No. I had to say when I thought a RBE wasn't having good events and shit like that. Me and ARP talked about certain things and you know we had an understanding and agreement. We good. We always been good and it's been years and he told me why certain battles was booked the way they was booked. But I get all my pay-per-views for free even when I go. Did we get paid free, 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 free from you? No. Did we get a thank you from you? No. Did you, re did you retweet any of the fucking recaps that we did? No, you didn't. You didn't. Did you share any of our recaps? No. You didn't. You know what I'm saying? And we helping you out. You know? It might, you didn't even have to recap any of the big ones. The small, not, I mean, any of the smaller um, media. The big ones. Big names. Shit. One's bigger than mine, smaller than mine. You ain't recapping, not, re retweet none of theirs either. And I don't got no issue with you. I don't want to go back and forth. It's not no beef. I'm just speaking my thoughts. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that, you know, <laughs> Three Letterman cannot be a guest in hip hop. The man is from fucking Brooklyn for crying out loud. He's from there. <laughs> and then I'm hearing this shit about you mad that uh, QB and RX is on, um, on, on, on Max out. I'm going to be honest with you. And I don't even know if, I don't care if anybody said it, I'll say it. The females themselves, first of all, the females themselves address this, but I'm going to go ahead and address it too because, I mean, I, I hate the way these things keep coming out. So the females said, RX said, me and QB are honorable women. Our names shouldn't even be brought up. Nothing was stolen by the pay-per-view, Max Out 3. QB says, facts. I think it was done to try to make ARP look bad. QB versus RX was not stolen. And then she says, what a shame. ARP did nothing wrong, right? That's what, that's what the females said. You said the battle was stolen. The battle wasn't stolen. I know what happened because I was told way before you said it was stolen. I was told that they have a sponsor who paid for the battle to be on RBE. Don't be mad at the females or ARP. Be mad at the sponsor. That battle was not stolen. See, this is the thing that I'm talking about. You're jumping out the window. You're crashing out. You're crashing out. I know you don't, you know, I know you're not happy with the easy situation. I know you wanted a clear win, and I know you want people to give you the win because of the NDA shit. So I get it. I understand. I know. I get it. I get how you feel. You put this event together, you got all these battle rappers you gotta pay, you the flu niggas here, blah 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 blah. I get it. And now it gets here, the party happens and people still feel like the opponent won. I get it. It could be a little frustrating. But um at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, like Three Letter Man been putting in work too long. Way too long. And he doesn't deserve to be called a guest by anyone. You know what I'm saying? Like, not at all. And I be seeing people talking about, oh, you're not bigger than this blog, you're not bigger than that blog, man, that shit don't matter, man. I promise you. I bet you his respect is there. I bet you his respect is there. Regardless of who you feel like is the top nigga, or the top two, the top three, I guarantee you three's respect is there. Even by the niggas who, who you say, whoever you say, I don't give a fuck who you say, I don't gotta be, I could be number 25 on any one of y'all list, I don't care. I respect him because of what he does. Benny the Butchers, the Lloyd Banks of the world, all these artists, they respect him. The Crooked Eyes, are you still battling Crooked Eyes? They respect him. 
You know, they shout him out. The Pat Pooses, the all of them, they, they shout him out. No other media are them hip hop niggas shouting out at all. I know Banks though, that's my man. Follow me on the gram and shit. But you see what I'm saying? So I'ma just leave it, man, but come on, dog. Feel like I'm out here by myself, but I'm not alone The title don't mean shit, cause I got it on With a bad bitch, think she it, but she got it wrong Loving now she calling on my phone I was just 